Hi everyone, this is Joel again, and today we're looking at making iMovie trailers using the iPad. So I've got my iPad here, and I'll just tap iMovie to get it going. So what we want to do is create a new project. So we press the plus button here, choose trailer, and right here we're given a whole lot of different options for different kinds of trailer. Um, and each one has a different duration, as you can see at the bottom right. Um, and some of them even specify how many people would be ideal for it. So this one you can see is two, um, this one doesn't say, this one says two to six, this one doesn't say, this one says two to six. Um, the one that I did with my students was the family one. Um, and the two to six was fine for that. Now you can press play for a little preview of how that looks. I'll just do that and see. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but you get the idea, and each one's obviously very different. So if that's the one that you want, for example, you press create, and that will start up a new template. So here what we have is what's called the outline view, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to add the students that are in the movie. So let's say we've got Billy as our first one, so I'm just going to tap on Madison here and get rid of that name, and I'll write Billy. And let's say our next one is Poppy. The girl, P-O-P-P-Y, change male to female, and let's say the last one is Tristan, T-R-I-S-T-A-N, and change female to male. Now let's say we've got four people in our group. Um, remember, this can take two to six, um, but I've got four people in my group, so there is a plus button just up here that I can press, and now I've got this Damien person, so let's get rid of Damien, and I'll change that to Ella and make it a female. Now obviously the name we're going to change as well. Right now it's called Holden's on the Loose. Now you can see that there's two boxes here and each box has a different style of writing. So the first one might be called something like um, School Kids and then the last one could be um, School Kids Party at School. Oops, hang on party at school, something like that. Okay, I'll press done. Now, there's other things as well. That little bit, that little um, uh, studio bumper that you saw at the beginning, that can be changed. Right now it's Galaxy, but and you can see there in the preview, that's what it was, but you can change it to any of these other ones. We've got colored bars, we've got dandelion, we've got street lamp, we've got trees. I quite like the trees one. And let's tap on the studio name. I explain this to the kids that the studio name is like a group name. So let's just call this um, Awesome Kids as the name of their group. Done. And then you've got some credits here which we can fill in or not fill in. It's up to you. Um, if you if you just leave it, it's going to have some random kids at the end. So it's probably better to have every kid's name in there um, one or two times. I'm not going to change it now though. All right, so now we've filled in the outline. Now we tap on Storyboard. So here with Storyboard, this is a really good way of teaching your students different shot compositions. Because as we go down, we see medium shot, close-up shot, wide shot, landscape shot. Um, there is action shot. Uh, there's wide shot, there's close-up, there's all sorts of things. So you encourage your students to, to use those kind of shots. Now, it does have each one, well, obviously, first of all, you can see the four names here, Ella, Billy, Poppy, and Tristan. So what you do to record something like that is you tap on it, you make sure camera is selected at the bottom, and, well, my camera's closed right now, so I can open it. Um, just tap on it to get in focus. Now, I don't have any kids here, but if I did, I would just record, press record, record them doing something fun. Now, in that yellow box is where the, the actual recording takes place so there's a bit of a countdown that you can give to the kids and that just pops it in just like that if you don't like it if you need to do a retake you just tap it again you press the rubbish bin here and it's gone and then you can press camera and go back and do something again 
Um, so obviously you do a little introduction video of your main characters. Um, the first one suggests a bit of a landscape, so that's sort of like an establishing shot of your environment. And then all sorts of things. Now you can see in these blue bars, these are different captions, different title cards that you can change. You can see here this one's one solid one, which is for adventurous kids. We could change that to whatever we want. This one over here says about to be dash set free. And the dash is because there are two blocks. So you can set that as you wish. And you get the kids basically to film little clips, lots and lots and lots of little clips until they've filled up their whole storyboard. Okay. And then once they've done that, they can press done. I'm not going to do one now, but you can done. And then we can press the little share button here at the top to save the video. And I won't do it, but just save the video. That will save it to the camera roll. There we go. So my kids had a lot of fun doing this. Um, it's not my ideal way of teaching video because it does a lot of the work for them. But I use this for grade one and twos. So that's sort of six, seven, eight year olds. Um, and for them, this program is ideal. It teaches them a little bit, but it also does a lot to make it um, sort of cool and interesting and look professional, which the kids get a real kick out of. After eight years old, I tend to teach them Premiere and I teach, tend to teach them proper video editing. But as a starter, to engage the kids, you can't beat iMovie. It's a really good one. So um, that's what I've used iMovie for. Um, hope you have a go with it and good luck. Thanks for listening.